Welcome back, Internet family, to our Higher on Fire channel. Today, we're going to review some cheese. Ghost Pepper Habanero Cheese from Grandpa's Cheese Barn. Grandpa's is, well, they have two locations, one in Ashland, Ohio, and then one in Norton, Ohio, which is the best of a smaller location that has, like, their best sellers and whatnot. Um, had their cheeses before thought hey let's start doing some reviews on those as well even got the cheese knife from grandpa's so starting out quickly looking at the ingredients part of the cheese obviously salt then they have the pepper blend which is jalapenos habanero followed by ghost pepper so kind of interesting the label starts with ghost pepper and then habanero, but the ingredients have it reversed. Jalapeno, then habanero, then ghost pepper. So we'll see how hot it really is. But either way, I pretty much love all their cheeses. They, they make some great cheeses. Can definitely get uh, carried away there when I stop in there. But definitely a local place. I believe you can buy online. I do believe you can uh, do mail order. I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, but nonetheless, let's get into this. Sliver here. Don't want to stab myself. <laughs> so a white cheese. It doesn't really say what type it is. Definitely feel the heat already. Yeah, definitely spicy. Definitely not one of those per se gimmick or, or marketing things you'll see in stores where they say it's ghost pepper and they have like a trace amount just enough to advertise to say that it's in there. Very mild cheese flavor. Not a strong cheese flavor. I mean, it'd be good on really any sandwich. Not a strong scent, but admittedly, been a little under the weather. So my nasal might not be smelling just right lately. But I'm not smelling anything. But... As I have a few bites here, it is starting to build the heat. Uh, back of the throat, really. Nothing on the tongue, nothing on the lips or anything. All in the throat. Pretty good, though. Man, it's such a mild, basic cheese. It's hard to really place a flavor on it, or a profile, per se. I like it, but I don't know that I would crave this and uh, want to frequently eat it as a snack or anything. I, when I get cheeses like this, these flavored cheeses, I really like to just snack on them. A lot of times due to the cost, more so than hiding it amongst other flavors and sandwiches and things like that. I really like to enjoy the flavor profile and but definitely has a good heat. I do like it. But hey if you're in the area 
Ashland. It's right off Route 71. I forget how far north of Polaris Shopping Center, not too far north of Polaris. Um, and then Norton off of uh, 224, 76 out that way, off Cleveland Maslin Road. I've been to both locations. Ashland, exponentially bigger. That's their original. They even have a little snack counter in there where you can get hot food sandwiches, whatnot. Um, Sweeties is a sister company to them. It's their chocolate division. They do chocolate covered, anything you can think of, fudges and whatnot. That's also in Ashland, and then they have the best of at the Norton location as well. So a smaller selection of their fudges and chocolate covered whatnot. And then um, actually at the Ashland location, there's ice cream. And I know last summer, I swung by, they had like a flavor of the week, it was peanut butter and jelly ice cream. Delicious. Just like you would think. Granted, that's off topic of the ghost pepper. But Ashland has way more variety of cheeses. They do have some more spicy cheeses as well that I've tried. And I'll be doing some reviews of them over, over time as I go swing by and pick them up. But thanks for sticking in. Tell me your favorite cheese, be it the maker, like Grandpa's, so the brand, and then what flavor? What do you like? And do you like a, a mild, like a white like this, or do you like the yellow, more cheddar, American, um, Colby Monterey Jack, what's your, what's your preference? And then toss in the peppers with that. What type of cheese do you want to have the peppers with? But if you haven't, subscribe for more content and more videos. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Make it a burning day.